Okay, so you've no doubt seen this at least in my lower thirds graphics, but uh, hopefully you've also seen it um, in one of my videos about it itself. Basically it's a tablet which I built by uh, basically disassembling a, a netbook and uh, uh, put a touch panel in front of it, completely changed the form factor and uh, put on some fancy LEDs and uh, then we have this tablet. So. In uh, the first video, I alluded to a little device which I'd made for it, a little peripheral, um, which uh, I was going to show you soon. A um, couple of years have gone by and I still haven't done it, so uh, it's time to show you that. So, that is this little doohickey. Um, I think one person has guessed first time uh, what it actually is. Um, those who have opened up a mouse will recognise a lot of the components of it. it. It basically is part of a mouse, and um, I've just sort of uh, I've shortened the cable by a whole lot. Um, so it's literally just sort of wrapping around there, and then just sort of glued everything in place. Um, and so then, if we go and plug it over here, and you'll see it lights up, and I'm not sure if... Yeah, you can just make it out there. Um, I'm actually going to change the camera position so you can see it better. Okay, so here we go. So effectively what this does is it turns the whole tablet into a mouse. Um, and it's, it works well. Um, so let's do it. Let's go over. Have I got a Wi-Fi connection? Yes, I do. Cool. So let's bring it over to internet. Okay, and then I can just push the button to make it click. Like so. And then we will come over to Internet Ex uh, sorry, uh, how did I say Internet Explorer? That is um, a serious uh, uh, knock to my uh, geek cred. And so now we wait a few moments for that to load. So one of the big advantages that comes with this is that uh, this particular touch panel is just a, a resistive touch panel, it's not a capacitive one, like if I touch like that, nothing happens, I actually have to touch quite uh, with a precise um, firm press, uh, because it's impact rather than the capacitance that's changing. Um, so what that means is that I don't have any form of scroll on there, um, I can select, um, but uh, I can't do any multi-point stuff. So, uh, to do that instead, I now have this little attachment I've made. Let's just bring it over so that you can actually see it. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just going to bring that over there so you can see the cursor. So now I have a right click, and I can do that here. And so that's fine. But more interestingly, I have a scroll. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. This is uh, uh, just a very, uh, a very, very simple but kind of cool hack, and I thought I'd use it quite a lot. I've um, only ever used it when showing it to people, so uh, it is. It usually sits in an anti-static bag, and that's about it. So potentially this wasn't as useful as I imagined it. Um, now there are actually configuration options that you can uh, do for um, for right click and for scrolling, and if I remember rightly, I have not successfully got it set up. Yeah, no, um, I need to fiddle with that. I'm pretty sure it's a bug in the um, particular library I'm using, that particular version. Um, this is very, very out of date, so I need to update it at some point and see whether it is my problem or whether it's the library's problem. It's very likely it's my problem, but um, that was where I got to when I last fiddled with it. So there's something I forgot to mention while I was recording all of that is that uh, one thing that could actually make this quite useful is to actually embed it in the tablet so then you have this little scroll wheel which can be used by the thumb or something like that. Um, like I say, I never got around to doing that but um, that would be a really good way of uh, doing this if you're actually serious about doing it. As always, um, questions are very welcome in the comments down below. If you've done something, very si if you've done something similar, I'd be very interested to see it. Um, yeah, have a good day.